All right. Welcome back, everybody, to this week's edition of Throwback Thursday uh, with the Evil Clown here for Knights of Pen and Paper, There Be Dragons. So this came, game came out in 2015. Uh, this is the second in the series. Um, it's it's a, you know, kind of a 2D uh, aspect ratio of Dungeons and Dragons play. Um, so I already started the character. I already recorded a series of games. Uh, um, I don't want to really go through the tutorial yet again. But I want to start a new game. And this is kind of where your guy starts out. Uh, once upon a time, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, this, this, this guy's like super high level, basically. And the dungeon master is like uh, going to try to throw his like top level stuff at him. And he's only got one character. And he's got like all these crazy, you know, defenses and uh super um super advanced uh weapons and things like that uh, and so he summons this like high level monster to fight him and this like is like oh yeah i got all this cool stuff <laughs> plus 255 damage versus tarask <laughs> what a, you know it's like vorpal strike and muscles and haste permanent haste and all this other He's like, oh yeah, let's go. And then they start fighting and bam, 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 bam. <laughs> you attack him. There you attack him and he's like, boom, bam, ba bam, ba bam. <laughs> ba bam, ba bam. And it literally gives like, uh. <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, did I forget to mention I had mirror? <laughs> <laughs> Second edition character. Let's make you a first edition. No, no. So, anyways, uh, it's pretty much um, a D and D game. Um, you can go in here and pick, you know, what you want them to be. Uh, I, uh, let's let's play um, a cheerleader. I'm gonna lab rat this time and make him um, make him a human and make him a cleric. No, let's do cheerleader. Yeah, five five six. That's that's fine. So uh, we got a cleric cheerleader and let's make a. Um, Let's make a surfer dude, uh, dwarf, and warrior, and add him. <laughs> so you've, you've got a pretty select bit of um, characters and stuff like that that you can set up. But, uh, sorry about the chair. Um, you basically uh, create, you get stuck in this world and the game. Um, it, it's more or less kind of a, this view, um, your monsters were, will appear up here in this location. Um, and you kind of fight in, uh, kind of a table view. If you understand what I'm talking about, the, the, they're basically like positioned where this character is right now behind the, the table and the dungeon master and you're fighting across and then you can set different skills. I'll, uh, I'll quickly go through the different lines here in the quests. So you've got, uh, you know, welcome to the game, rolling the dice, setting it up, getting gold, uh, character creation. So it pretty much takes you through all the basics. You can pause these at any time um, to kind of go back and see what the different uh, uh, skills and stats and attributes directory, inventory, um, you can go through all of these one at a time, kind of pause if you want to read all of this, um, but basically it's how you set up and get the game, how the game actually works, 
attacks, skills, consumables, take cover, escape button is, you know, you're chickening out, uh, conditions that, you know, you, you get hit with, like hound or rage or confusion or poison, and then terrain effects, you know, what's happening around you, uh, new quests, continue quests, battle, nap, tavern where you sleep and rest and capture you know you can craft in this game a little bit uh you got shops you got your own stash you can share between guys and investigate skills to discover stuff you got an inn camps dungeons so yeah just a little bit of everything and i kind of wanted to do i i really wanted to do um Elite Dangerous, because that was the game that uh, some people had brought up that said they wanted to see a Throwback Thursday on, and Steam and Frontier's website just wouldn't play well with me, and I could not get registered. I have never played the damn game. I bought the game, and I could never get registered. Um, so I don't know what's going on with it, but I can't link my account. Something's not working correctly, and it's just irritating me, and I gave up on it. So... Here we are in Knights of Pen and Paper 2, again, came out in 2015 by KYY Developers. Um, it's out on Steam, you can get it for like a buck, uh, I think is what I picked it up for. Um, yeah, so it's an excellent game, especially if you like role-playing games or if you like tabletop games. Um, you like going on adventures, sitting with your friends um, around the gaming table. This is pretty much the game for you. This is the video game version of that, where you're sitting, you know, around the table, literally, with your friends, even, you know, dressed in gear and stuff. And, uh, you know, paper gangsters <laughs> coming in for the attack. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's do the tutorial real quick. It doesn't take long. Um, basically, they attack you, they poison you, and things happen. Uh, you can see the different stats, and now you can, like, go attack them. Um, let's go attack her. And he attacks him. He's really hurting. Let's eat a carrot. Yes, he's showing that you can use stats to upgrade things. Um, now this guy can attack. Uh, they, they don't have very many skills or anything like that. This is more or less just a tutorial and then it flips out and does this terrain thing and they all go poof. And that's pretty much it. It just goes through and tells you how to uh, fight and do things. And you get a little bit of gold at the end of the tutorial, which is okay. And then it heals you up and then you got to kind of move along. So uh, let's do a battle. Uh, I, like I said, I wanted to keep it fairly short. Um, it's only going to let you do like a max of five on this. Uh, let's go ahead and set her up to attack. Set him up to attack. Set her up to attack. There we go. She hit him. Um, well, that guy is still taking injuries. Uh, set him up. Four. Uh, let's see. Piece one, two, three. So let's take him out because he's second in line. Then she gets to go, and then this guy gets to go, and then he's going to be able to attack him. So there you go, and then bam, he's gone. And we got some lettuce. All right, <laughs> and we leveled up. So now I can go in here and level up skills. So if you see uh, which ones to pick, Restoration is probably the best since she's a healer. So let's go ahead and pick that for her and level that up. And then we're going to go over here to um, this guy. And I think we want to use Cleave, uh, attack a row of enemies. So we'll level that up and we'll get more than one guy on a hit. And then we can go, like, you can come in here and you can loot stuff and then fill it into your uh, inventory and then drag it into your your character slot, like if you get armor or something. Um, 
you should be able to basically fight and move this stuff to your your character. Um, but yeah, I just it's pretty cool. So she ate that one, and he doesn't have any. <laughs> so now they're all healed and ready to go. We can go back in here and fight again, and let's add the same amount basically. Do a quick battle again. Uh, let's see, one, three, four. Uh, let's do two, and then she gets to go three. Uh, they changed the order. Uh, four. Uh, four. Oh, I can't hit that guy. Okay, so let's take that one out. And now I can do a special command and have him hit this one. Bam, bam. See, now he took them all out in one, one go with cleave. Uh, oh, I got a dagger. Cool. So now if I go in and look at the dagger, I should be able to drop that, you know, onto him if he, you know, had a, a cool tool. Um, or with her, you know, she had something better than that. I could drag that up there and move it to uh, the attack, um, attack area and change the weapons out and things like that. So... Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, we can rest and take a nap here at the end and get our healing back up and go back on, oh, go back on a battle and we can try it all again. We'll do, do uh, some quick leveling here. Oh, these guys got special hits. All right, so let's take this one out. Take this one out. Uh, oh no, this one. There we go. Oop, I hit the wrong thing, didn't I? I didn't hit cleave. <laughs> Dummy. Uh, Alright, so let's her hit that one. And then he can go in and do a cleave on this one. Bam, bam. So, they got taken out. There we go. And we got some lettuce. And leveled up again. So now we can go back in and uh, get some other uh, thing. Divine Judgment, Purge, uh, Random Conditions. Okay, we can do that. And then level her up. And move on to something else. And let's do Repost, Counter, uh, counter Damage, Power Lunge. Cleave. Uh, let's do repost. That way he attacks back on damage. No, not pommel strike. Repost. Counterattack. Yeah, there we go. So, and then now we now we got that. We can actually increase our damage as we fight and attack things and uh, take hits. And we can retaliate and stuff. So let's go ahead and move up the three. Battle them once more. We are what? Two and three. Okay. Well, that one's done. So let's take this one out. Oh, shoot. I did it again. All right. So. She's got health of party. No. Um, we could heal or we could just take this thing out. And I think that we're just going to take this thing out. I messed up because I should have attacked that thing. And now there's only one left, so I'm just going to kill it. <laughs> but I wanted to use cleave again. And so, you know, kind of level up uh, what I wanted to do. And so... Um, uh, the next thing is we, let's do a quest. Um, is it something different or is it the same? Transform over in Paperos, changing the world. Uh, how bad is it? Uh, strong. That's nice. 
huge pile of gold. And he's like, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, a little flavor for us and full of rat traps and bankrupts and uh, uh, difficult. Okay, so it's basically the same quest. And then let's, we gotta get something out of them, so let's add as many as we can. Battle. All right, so we're like really crap right now. Um, let's see, seven party, let's activate that. Heal him up all the way. And then, uh, with him, okay, so he counterattacks. Let's do um, a cleave and take this one out and that one out. And then we got these two left, one and two. Um, he had counter and then she gets to attack. There we go. So you kind of see how it works really quickly. Oh, there's a club, something different. Uh, I don't know if it's worse or better or whatever. <laughs> We can try that out now, and since we got uh, a club, we can go in here and look at uh, our damage differences and things like that. This is a critical hit. Uh, what is that? 3%? Threat 1, Hun 1, Hound 1. This is Threat 1, Damage plus 1, Critical, and Stun. Ah, so yeah, that would be a better fit. That way I can pound him. So, 8 to 12 damage, and that's still 8 to 12 damage. Eh, still not going up very high, but it is, it's a little better. And then maybe, maybe even move her up um, to take some as well to get a better weapon. Uh, what else we got? Let's, let's do one more. We got, we're at 7 minutes right now. Let's battle it quick, quickly again and then complete the quest. Uh, let's see, we're 3... So level one and two. Um, uh, let's do this one. And then he can do this. Uh, why can I not do clean? Oh, there we go. No? Why didn't it let me do clean? Maybe because I didn't have my power back yet. Um, can she heal again? She must not be able to heal. Hmm. What about him? He doesn't have any, does he? Yeah, well, let's just fight it. And maybe we'll get Cleave back this time. Alright, well, we took a little damage and we killed him off. Now we should be able to heal that guy. Moon, gold, and lettuce. And we leveled up again. So now we can pick something else. Passive Radiance, energy to other party members when you're using your skill. Uh, health. Any party member. Remove up two random conditions. Divine Judgment, Cleave. Uh, three damage for each salient. So let's do this one this time. Something different. And that takes a little mind and stuff off of it. And then this guy, uh, we got threats from counterattack, pommel strike, power lunge, one threat, and cleave. Um, let's do pommel strike. Or no, let's, yeah, let's do this one. Power lunge, I guess. And now we can hit a little more with it. And that's pretty much it. That's the game in a nutshell. You keep leveling and trying different things. And it uh, looks like we got uh, a new quest. Oh, we got XP4 completed in quest. Oh, okay, I got it. So now we got money. We can go to the shop. There's these different uh, weapons and shields and things. Um, 
if we don't have that much. <laughs> but it takes like 25 gold to get there. These are five gold crap. We've got spears, shields, leather and armor. And then here, let's see, we've got new quest. We've got the map so you can go around the area and try different things. Um, we're at Spawn Point Village and you can go to different locations, uh, travel, and then there's new quests, uh, polluted river. Um, let's try this and see what happens. I don't want to take too much more time, uh, make it pretty quick for today and hopefully, uh, okay. Uh, let's travel there. Travel there. Uh, okay, so it's five gold to travel there. There we go. So there's our little pretty horsey traveling. And now we're out in the boonies and it changes uh, sides and things happening. You can do camp now. You can do the quest, battle. Um, you know, it's basically telling you what the troglodytes are and you know what's going on. Tell me, certainly not. So now you can battle all these troglodytes and basically take take them on. Um, let's see, let's do uh, let's do a power lunge first against this guy, and then so he hits, and then let's do um, a whack on him. And he counterattacked. Now let's see if we can do a cleave. We can. Right in the middle. Bam bam. Ah, oh, he didn't get the rest. Sorry, go on it. Alright, so let's do divine judgment on him. And zap him. And then we will um, basically finish off this last guy. And that would be pretty much it. And knock him out. And get our club and our resources and things like that. And now we've leveled up. So we can try something else. Uh, we got passive energy. We can try to give the players. Let's do that one because she's like a healer. And then this one is, uh, you know, like we got clubs and all kinds of stuff. We got pommel strike. Uh, I'm just basically getting a little bit of everything and leveling as we go and just trying things out. So we're level five now and I think we'll call it a night. And I appreciate y'all stopping by visiting for Throwback Thursday with the Evil Clown as we check out the Knights of Pen and Paper 2. Hope you enjoyed it, Jeff. <laughs> night, y'all. Evil Clown, out of here. <laughs>